What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey. So today, I'm going to rank all of the Robo Rumble Brawlers from best to worst. And to do that with me, I got Kairos Gaming. What is up, man? Dude, not much. I'm so stoked to be here. I know you've done a lot of rankings videos in the past, and I've done a lot of tier lists in the past, so I'm really excited to do this with you and uh, kind of see how this takes us. Yes, sir. I think this is a power collab. So today, I'm going to cover the best brawlers, what ones you should use, and then make sure to check out Kairos' channel as well. We're going to tell you what ones you really don't want to use, and we'll tell you why as well. So I also have some exciting news. You may have seen this on Reddit, but there is an update coming soon. I can't tell you everything that's going to be in the update. Now, it hasn't been that long since the last update, so it's not going to be anything really major. But some of the exciting things, tickets no longer expire. Let's go. I'm hype about that. <laughs> and then also, uh, maybe a little bit of a negative, but Coin Booster will no longer be available in the shop. But in compensation... Coin Doubler will now have double the drop rate for unboxes. So you're going to get a lot more doubles, Coin Doublers. So free to play players rejoice. Uh, also, Crow is getting a nerf. I can't say what else might be included along with the Crow <laughs> nerf, but we'll see soon. More information soon, hopefully. Okay, so let's get into the Robo Rongo rankings. Oh, also, I'm changing a little bit how I'm doing my rankings. So let me know if you guys enjoy this style more or you prefer my old style. So what I'm doing today is we're going to do tier lists. So from S, A, B, C, F, uh, S is very good, A is uh, good, B is pretty good, C is fair, and then D is bad. So today we're going to cover S and A, and then we're going to go over B, C, and F on Kairos' channel. So Kairos, let's start out at the top. Who is the number one brawler? Oh, man. Ricochet is the number one brawler, in my opinion at least, because the one of the, the biggest things when it comes to Robo Rumble is how much damage you can put out. There are a lot of brawlers that are good, you know, for the first three minutes, maybe even not through the first four right. minutes. But when you get to that point, you have so many brawl or you have so many boss that are just coming in in all different areas and sides and things like that. You've got to dam it, deal damage. Fast. And the fact that Ricochet not only does a ton of damage quickly, but the fact that he can also hit multiple targets and bounce things off of walls, right. kind of protect himself, he's 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 a solid option. He really is. Right. He's basically, you know, if he's bouncing shots, he's got the highest damage in the game. And you're right, damage is the most important thing. It seems like after that, like, four minutes or four minutes 30, that's when it really starts getting intense. And yeah. that's when you really need that damage. Because they just got so much health. And if you don't kill them, they're just going to pile up on you and just you know do a ton of damage he really does yeah and you know and he is a little bit uh more on the squishy side of things so you yeah. gotta definitely play a little bit more defensively with him but that's how ricochet's played anyways i think that if right. he is paired up with some other brawlers that are going to be able to kind of protect him from the back mm -hmm. then he's gonna be able to add that support from a distance and just just really wreck those bots he's good against the boss He's good at um, against even the little mouse guys because they come at him right. from such a far enough distance at a straight line that he's able to clear them quickly. Um, those those fast mouse guys, they are rough on a lot of different brawlers. But then he's also good at taking care of the melee and the long range guys. I mean, he's just overall mm -hmm. a great brawler for this game mode. He really is. Right. He's got the high damage. He's got the long range. And he's got the fast reload. Definitely very key. And similar to that, the next person in the S tier is Colt. A very similar brawler, high damage as well, long range. He's got a lot of great attributes. He does move faster, so that actually helps him. He can sort of kite the boss a little bit. That can definitely be useful. Mm. Helps him Absolutely. stay alive a little bit. What do you think? Oh, yeah. No, I completely agree. Colt is also a monster when it comes to this game mode. I mean, the fact that, um, theme, you know, it, I think one of the hardest things that um, at least newer players struggle with Colt is missing people, you know, kiting, you know, bouncing back and forth, dodging bullets and things like that. You don't right. have to worry about this in, the, in this game mode. You know yeah. where the bots are going to be pathing. You know where they're going to be moving. He just does that straight line. I mean, he just he does so much damage. And yeah. him... I mean, he's, he's just really great at doing that. And uh, the fact, like you said, the fact that he has that high move speed really does help with kiting that boss. You want to yeah. avoid to get, having that boss land onto your safe at all possible costs. Like, as soon as he's oh, on there, yeah. everybody's like, oh, shoot, we got to get rid of him. so much I mean, health. Yeah. Oh, he has, he has so much health, and he hits so hard. His melee attacks are the worst on that safe. Oh, I mean, it's awful. It's so, like one or two punches night-night. 
Yeah, it's it's really rough. So Colt, absolutely, def definitely S tier. Oh yeah, for sure. And the one thing with both those guys is their supers go through multiple enemies, which as those guys, you're right, they have similar pathing. They just start stacking up, and that's how you really clear them out. Ton absolutely. of damage at once. Yeah. Yes. So now going so now we're, on. Oh, oh my bad. Sorry. You go ahead. <laughs> okay, sorry. This is your channel. I shouldn't be taking over. Um, <sighs> so now we've got the A tier. Um, these are very good brawlers. Um, not quite as top class as, you know, Ricochet and Colt, but still very good ones and great ones to pair up with Rick and Colt. Um, first of all, Barley. Barley, with that mm -hmm. area of effect, also another situation where you know the pathing of, you, of the bots, you know where they're going right. to be. He can throw over walls, kind of protect his teammates. Um, mm -hmm. Barley's amazing. His super does so much damage, can help clear tons of bots, and he has a, a little bit of an easier de time dealing with those fast little mouse guys than some other uh, bot brawlers do because he knows where they're coming. They, he just places down those those shots and then he runs away and the mouse guy goes, runs right through it and takes all that damage. Um, right. Definitely a great a great brawler to select. Right, Barley's not going to miss very often. It is, you're right, there's very known pathing. And there's a lot of walls for him to throw over as well, so he can use to protect himself. And I think one of the great things is his super can do a lot of damage. And they do group up because there's not very many places for him to go. So especially versus the boss, his super is great. He can like do a lot of damage, chain up his supers. He's definitely a very good option. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I forgot to think about that. The fact that he can get rid of so much hp on that boss yeah that's huge that is yeah. absolutely huge because i mean <laughs> barley is insane as far as damage if you get all of your super spots into one spot and <laughs> right i mean that's he, he wrecks yeah. stuff so that's that's awesome yeah you could just put him all down right down on him because he's you know he doesn't move very fast he's pretty big big target so he's definitely good the one thing with barley and this is why he's sort of a and not s is he does have like low health now he does have that regen a little bit with his star power but, you know, he still can struggle a little bit late stage. You know, he can die fairly easily. But he's still Absolutely. a very good option. So, and then oh, yeah. a similar option, very similar, baller right after him is Spike. So, very similar. Can't throw over walls, but he does throw his spiky things. And uh, his super is great. <laughs> spiky. Those spiky things do a lot of damage, man, okay? You gotta watch out for those spiky things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're key. That's right. His, his super is great, though, because it slows them down. So some of those guys, those fast guys, they make them a lot easier to hit. So you're no longer really missing your shots. Your Colts and Ricochet can just pinpoint damage, especially versus the boss. His super is very good, and it can super can also heal him up, too, if he needs it. So especially at the end, if guys are rushing you and you can catch multiple guys in the super and heal yourself, it can definitely save a situation. Oh yeah, absolutely. I v I view his super kind of like as like a hail mary. Like, okay, we're going down. We got to do something to fix this situation. He throws it down. Mm -hmm. He can clear tons of tons of bots, heal himself, stay alive, and really hold down the fort if his teammates do end up uh, dying and have to wait ten seconds before respawning. Um, yeah. Great at just kind of saving that match at that last second there with Spike. It's such a wide radius too. It can really catch a lot of robots, which is definitely key later on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, next we have Jesse. Jesse is, uh, re I really like playing Jesse in this game mode because um, not only can she kind of put down that turret and kind of add some support and stuff, um, she can heal up her turret and things like that, but the her, her chain shots almost always hit at least two bots. Like, yeah. almost every single time. And so she's building up her super pretty frequently. Um, she's able to put that down. And then also, her turret does a good job at distracting um, different bots away from the safe. And mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it's, she's a great option for this match, for, for this game mode. For sure. She's very strong early on and in the middle because she can have that turret up. And then if it does take any damage, she has to shoot it. And she can not only hit brawlers but heal her turret up as well. Her turret does a good amount of damage. The reason Absolutely. she's not able to be S tier and she's a little lower than some of the A tier guys is because she relies on that turret a lot for damage. So later in the game, when those brawlers just deal a ton of damage in one shot, she's not able to keep up with that and she's not able to keep her turret up. And that's where she ends up struggling a little bit. But she's still a very good option in general. And she's still a strong option for the most part, I think. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree with that. 
um, one hundred percent. She she does have to rely on some of her teammates to have do a lot of good damage in certain situations. But as far right. as overall control of the map, she I mean I don't know that you can get better than than her with that with that turret kind of controlling things because you know where the the bots are coming. You know that turret's gonna get damage off, and uh, so that's why I think I think that you're right. Very good A tier card or not card. Brawler. Brawler. I'm used to Clash yeah. Royale. <laughs> <laughs> Similar. Yeah, that's yeah, right. right. She's she's not able to do a ton of individual damage, but she can change shots and deal decent overall damage. Absolutely. All right, so getting into the final brawler in the A tier, and that is Shelly. Shelly the Shotgunner. She doesn't have the longest range, so that's why she's a little lower, but she's very good, for instance, at dealing with the mouse robots. And her super is really good. It can slow down and hit a lot of different robots. So that's And she's able to get her super a ton. So that's why she's one of the better options. And she's in the A tier as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that she's not quite S tier because of that long range. You know, she doesn't do as much damage at long range. But mm -hmm. the fact that she can just wreck some bots up at close range, um, just yeah. really, she, she does a great job at rounding out different team comps um, that do mm -hmm. struggle when those bots do get a little bit closer in. Um, I mean, those melee guys or the mouse guys getting close up to your safe, there are times, I mean, once you get past that four minute and 30 second mark, yeah. the, the heat gets turned on. I mean, it gets uh -huh. hard fast. And uh, she definitely, and including with her super, does a great job of kind of like resetting the board and allowing everybody to kind of like take a breath and be like, okay, exactly. okay bring on the next wave, let's do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's right. She's definitely a good option as far as that goes. She's definitely well-rounded, I think. Uh, maybe not the strongest damage output, but she's one of the more well-rounded options. And she, you're right, she helps fill out your team on some of those, you know, where the weaknesses of the team might have. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. All right, so guys, those were the better brawlers to use, but you definitely want to make sure to not use some of these other brawlers, so make sure to go check out Kairos' channel. He's got the video up there. I'll put the link in the description. Make sure to give that guy a sub. He's got great content. All right, thank you for coming on, Kairos. Dude, it has been a real pl great pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. It's been a pleasure to be doing this video with you. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I have another video soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.